I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment in our Thanksgiving side dish series. We're doing Thanksgiving survival guide and today we're going to concentrate on the side. Roasted cauliflower with brown buttered breadcrumb. So let's go see how this all comes together. to fix up this this is a delicious side dish that I grew up with my grandmother used to make this all the time this was a standard side dish for uh, roasted pork or roasted chicken and then we would always either have a yellow or a green vegetable along with it as well but this roasted cauliflower with buttered breadcrumb. Now my grandmother never roasted it, so that's my spin on this. My grandmother always steamed her cauliflower. Now this is two heads of cauliflower. They were very good sized heads, and right now cauliflower is inexpensive because it's come into season in my area of the world. So I have two nice heads of cauliflower that I just washed and then I broke up right here in this big bowl. Then what we're going to do is we're going to roast it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I have a quarter of a cup of sunflower oil. You can use whatever oil you like. You can use olive oil or whatever. And I'm going to take some of my sedged chicken seasoning and I'm just going to throw it on in there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good toss. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and put it on a clean baking sheet. And I've not put parchment or foil or anything on here. These clean up so easy. And I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees and we're just gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes. At 15 minutes, I'm going to stir it and give everything a good toss, flatten it back out and even everything out, and then I'm gonna let it go for another 15 minutes. So I'll be back when it's time to show you what it looks like after it's all roasted. All right, I went ahead and I melted a stick of butter in my skillet, and I totally forgot to go over all the other ingredients. There really aren't that many. So you've got the cauliflower and the oil, the seasoning, you've got a stick of butter, and we've got some breadcrumbs. So I have one bag of stuffing that I ground up. And remember, this is a stick of butter and it's for two whole heads of cauliflower. While your cauliflower is in the oven roasting, you're gonna go ahead and work on your breadcrumb. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna toss that breadcrumb in the butter over a medium high heat and you're not gonna walk away from it, but this does take a little bit of tending. If you're in the kitchen doing other things, preparing your meal, you're fine, but don't like go sit down and, and uh, play a video game and think that your breadcrumbs are gonna come out great, because they're not, because they will burn at, at a certain point. Your breadcrumbs will burn quickly. Now, I do like to season these. Um, this was like an original flavor stuffing mix so it's probably got a little bit of sage in there but I'm gonna put some salt and just a little bit of uh, black pepper that's really all this vegetable needs so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna keep tending this and I'm gonna brown them and when I come back I'm gonna show you what your breadcrumbs should look like all right I've been stirring and stirring and stirring here for about 10 minutes and I want you to notice the definite color difference now when we put these breadcrumbs in here they were very very light and now they are not. And if you look down here, when I stir, it's darker down toward the bottom of the pan. Now I've turned this pan off, but this skillet is super hot, so it's still gonna be cooking a little bit. You want to make these breadcrumbs golden brown. You don't wanna burn them because they will taste nasty and you will have to start over again. They burn toast. And they will be like burnt toast. When you can start smelling the buttery toastiness of these breadcrumbs, that's when you know you want to kind of turn them off. And Rick said it smelled like a grilled cheese sandwich in here. Mm -hmm. I think it smells like toast, but you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? Um, but you definitely want these to be golden brown. You don't want them to go much past this. So you just want to remove it from this burner so the pan doesn't continue to get hot. Um, 
just from the residual heat that's on the burner. And now we're just gonna wait for our cauliflower to come out of the oven and we'll be back and we'll put together our roasted cauliflower with buttered breadcrumb. All right, we just removed our cauliflower from the oven. It's been in there just about a half an hour and it's perfect. You see how it has all these nice little brown edges on it. I did stir it after 15 minutes and it's nice and tender now. So you just wanna be sure you pierce it with a fork to make sure it's nice and done. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tip this back into the bowl. I cleaned out the bowl and the pan is still very hot. <laughs> um, I cleaned out the bowl and I wiped it out with some paper towel. And you can see how much it cooks down. It looks significantly less than it did before we put it uh, in the oven. Now I'm gonna take my a waiting breadcrumb. And now all you wanna do is toss it. Okay, well I'm gonna go grab a dish and we're gonna fix you up a plate of this wonderful roasted cauliflower with brown breadcrumb. And there you have it, delicious oven roasted cauliflower with brown buttered breadcrumb, and you're gonna love it. I can't wait to eat this. Literally, Rick and I could probably polish off this whole bowl and that would be what we would eat for dinner. It's like a party in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. And if you don't like cauliflower, you're gonna like this. I think you need to give it a try. It's very, very delicious. And like I said, it's another alternative to a side for a vegetable offering at your Thanksgiving table or your holiday table. So, uh, yeah, are you ready? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. That is so good. It is so good. Mm -hmm. It has everything. It has just enough seasoning in it. The cauliflower is rich and buttery and it's nutty tasting and oh, it's so delicious. It tastes guilty. It does, but it isn't. I wanna thank you for joining me today so I can show you how I make this family favorite, our roasted cauliflower with brown butter breadcrumb. And if you liked the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we're always sharing right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. Also, don't forget to share this across your social media and post it everywhere so that your friends can learn and share. I hope you give this roasted cauliflower with brown buttered breadcrumb a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.